So there's this kind of misconception that meditation, you know, awakens this state of bliss and that's why we do it. And it certainly does. But on that journey, it can also promote feelings of discomfort and, you know, feelings of anger or frustration or other things can come up. And we have to understand that when you're meditating, you're really surrendering to the intelligence of your body, your mind, your whole nervous system. It's like you become the... Uh, the pedestrian or the witness of that. So when you introduce the mantra to the mind, it triggers the mind to go into this very deep state. And the mind is so powerful that it takes the body there with it. And after you know, a minute or so of meditation, your body's resting in a state much deeper than sleep. And you're, when your body's profoundly resting, that's its cue to start to heal, to self-repair. And in the process of doing that, Sometimes energies and feelings and things which have been sort of stored in the architecture of that person's body starts to release and then it comes up. So the body discharges it and then it filters through the mind. And then if you're a meditator who doesn't really understand the mechanics, you could very much misinterpret that and think, oh, this isn't working and why am I getting so angry? And what we have to appreciate is, ah, this is my body's wisdom, which is purifying out all of the stuff that has no value in me. And I'm a human being, so I have emotional responses to life, but I don't want to hold on to that charge. And it's not easy to release that charge when our lives are so active and dynamic. So meditation creates that perfect environment for that supreme healing intelligence to come in. And all sorts of things can happen when you're meditating. You know, your body might start discharging fatigue and you're just falling asleep all the time. You might find that emotions come up which don't really have a story and you just can feel potentially teary. Um, other times you can feel incredibly energized and exhilarated and feeling like you, you know, you've merged with all of creation and other times you feel really clear and other times meditation can just feel like it's a, you know, it's a train wreck and there's like a snow globe that's just you know, rattling around in your head. But the key is if you just allow the process and follow you know, the instruction, at the other side of that you'll feel amazing. Because basically the practice of meditation is just where your body opens up and just goes blah and purges and releases stress if it feels like it's an appropriate thing to do at that session. And if you don't you have this non-reactive sort of approach and continue to do the technique correctly, you'll come out and you'll feel liberated. You'll feel lighter and clearer and energized and all that stuff. So we meditate not for the effect during the practice, it's for the effect it yields beyond the practice. That's the key distinction to make. So if people are ever struggling with their practice, it's usually what's going on within it and they just have to drop their prejudice and their expectations and just realize it's just like the sunset. It just is different each and every day. And whether it's a radiant, beautiful sunset, I celebrate it. And if the clouds are there, I'm not getting pissed because that's just what nature does. So we realize our body has a nature and it wants to be healthy and vital and strong and we just kind of hand ourselves over to that intelligence each time we meditate.